Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will go through the last troubleshooting scenario and we will deal with IPsec uh, phase 2 proposal mismatch. As you can see both of the tunnels are running now, are up, uh, so both uh, ICMP sessions are working and we will now go in the FortiGate user interface and obviously I'm connected on the HQ firewall and I will break again the configuration uh, going to the ASA and let's say edit and now we will go to the phase 2 click on the pencil which means edit and go to the advanced options and now we will change from SHA-1 to MD5 so click OK now let's go to monitor and IPsec monitor and let's say bring down yes I'm sure so now it's uh, down let's try to bring it up it will not uh, it will not go up after uh, after this uh, modification after this change so if you now take a look again you'll see that the communication between the LAN PC in the headquarter going to the branch SA Cisco SA firewall is not working so again obviously uh, you have seen up to this point the, the debugging diagnosed messages are not so self-explanatory so now we'll talk about IPsec so IPsec this is phase 2 and proposal mismatch so let's see exactly uh, how the debug uh, looks like maybe it's self-explanatory maybe it's not uh, you tell me so now let's go and take the HQ FortiGate and let's say admin and let's prepare the debugs so let's take this and copy and let's run it a lot a lot of debugs I know I know it's true and now I will just stop it it's absolutely very very noisy as you can see and take it and stop perfect so now let's navigate till the beginning let's take the configuration let's take the debugs and analyze it a lot a lot of debugs I agree so still not there more and more well wow, that's massive and here it is so let's start and take everything that's here actually not we will not take it uh, we didn't take the um, the previous debug we will analyze it here and just put the conclusion so what's the end result of our analysis in um, in the in the text uh, in the notepad in the text editor that you're using you can do the same so where did it start here good so let's see branch one and branch two branch one it's up it's running branch two is not so we're starting with branch two i can see so negotiation result proposal id it's one let's go and see we should see the authentication working so appreciate key authentication succeeded because we haven't uh, yes we haven't done anything there so appreciate key authentication succeeded and authentication is okay established ike so phase one it's up uh, operational up now let's go on and say branch two so ipsec sa connect between this ip our ip and the asa ip configuration found ipsa connect good negotiating 
and let's see what's the result of the negotiation for branch two so sending the ike message quick i1 send ike1 exchange informational and this is the id and here it is now this is something what i called self-explanatory so for branch two notify message received no proposal chosen well that's a different story and no matching ipsec spi so we will take this and document it here so okay so now as you can see as i told you in the previous lecture so when we have an ipsec phase 2 proposal mismatch this is a different story it is indeed self-explanatory so notify, notify message received no proposal chosen something uh, something uh, uh, indeed different than for the sa proposals that do not match for phase one so let's say here also phase phase one this is a different story so ignoring unsupported informational message wow and the same for the pre-shared key mismatch ignoring unencrypted payload malformed message from so the end uh, of the tunnel the other end so anyway let's continue to look but uh, this is the message so no proposal chosen so we don't have um, we don't have anything to to match with what uh, what i'm receiving and basically the the other end of the tunnel it's uh, complaining the same okay so i cannot establish a tunnel with you we cannot send uh, encrypted traffic we cannot encrypt the traffic and protect it because we are not using the same phase two parameters so because uh, because the ipsec proposal um, uh, was not matched no match uh, no matching uh, ipsec spi now deleting everything that's been configured and i believe this process repeats on and on and on so let's take a look branch two again branch two negotiation result for phase one let's continue 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 we can see that the vendor id is cisco so we are trying to establish a site-to-site -site, uh, ipsec vpn with a cisco equipment cisco gear and let's continue to look I, uh, okay, I can't say this. And again, so phase one has been successful. Um, where is it? So branch two received this. Okay, so phase one has been successful. Peer identifier, uh, pre-shared key authentication succeeded, authentication okay. And now we should see again the failure for phase two. Failure for phase two the ipsec negotiation and here it is again so indeed the debug is absolutely noisy a lot a lot of uh, uh, of lines are inserted or are presented when we have this problem notified message received no proposal chosen so perfect so this concludes the troubleshooting scenario and the course i hope you find it uh, informative uh, hopefully it makes sense to you and thanks a lot Thank you for being here and I hope to see you in the upcoming courses as well. Thank you.